previously on Western Wild Survival. Hello. Oh, hey, Collins, how's it going? Oh, no, no, yeah, we're getting ready to head over there and get your field harvested up for you. Yeah, I, I heard we got some pretty bad weather coming in tonight. You know, I mean, I haven't heard of a weather, extreme weather warning coming through until just now, so we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Whoa, chicken! I don't need to harvest chickens. Oh, yeah. I don't know why we need four fire vehicles and a helicopter for a town this small, but okay then. We are on the wrong road, folks. It's over there. I cannot believe that I'm on a map with five roads about and I get lost. I guess when my wife says I need to stop and ask for direction, she is right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take a sleep. And then I'll see what we got going on in the morning. Yeah. Huh? What is going on? We got rent, uh, folks. Um, those are the uh, uh, those are the emergency weather sirens. Um, the only thing that they said to do was to get either to the BGA or the South Sawmill, whichever you're closest to. So uh, we better get going. hearing some thunder and some lightning and the wind's picking up quite a bit it's blowing us over the road we we got to get out of here folks oh, oh wait a minute here here's a cop let's find out what he knows sir what's going on yeah there's a tornado get down to the bga get under the shelter now Okay. All right, uh, folks, uh, we got a major problem here. Apparently, there's a tornado on its way. We, we need to get out of here. Come on. Come on, old baby. Let's go. I hope everybody else in town got out. Get going. Come on. I don't remember the BGA being this far away. All right, here's BGA. Right, there's another officer so all right here we are folks a massive tornado computer crash and unrecoverable files has left western wilds deserted. The few families that lived there have since evacuated and it is unknown if they will be able to return. We now return to your regularly scheduled programming. Hello folks, well, 
we've ran into some difficulties there. Um, well, as you heard on the news report, Western Wilds is completely shut down, destroyed, and pretty much unlivable now for the time being. So, been traveling around trying to do some work. We managed to save some of our equipment after I bought a trailer with some of the uh, insurance money I got on the payout for my farm being destroyed. So, we tried Northern Carolina, we tried Ohio, Indiana, we tried all over and nobody wants any help on their farm. So, we're now out here in Elk Mountain, Wyoming and just going to see if we can get some work and maybe we can buy a little chunk of land out here. We sold the land in Western Wilds. Maybe we'll come back to it after a while. But all of our equipment needs repaired. It's like our tractor here. It is completely demolished. It's it will not even run so first thing we do is we need to find a shop maybe somebody will let us use their shop to work on our vehicles here wait for this guy alrighty We've just been living when we can in a tent for the past few months. Just trying to make things work. Haven't been having much luck though. But I did hear that a big rancher that lived out here for years sold his place and tore down and moved. I guess he wanted to be in the city. I don't understand why, but to each their own, I guess. Well, looks like there's a garage up here. Maybe we could talk to the guy and see if he'd be willing to let us use his shop and everything to fix our equipment. Maybe we can find some small cultivating and fertilizing contracts and get going so we'll head down into the town here and see what we got going on alright folks well as we're coming into the town I've changed up the settings a little bit I will now be running two day season, two day months, sorry, uh, five times speed all the time, and I'm also using the gameplay difficulty survival mod to make things a little bit harder at times, especially for contracts. Well, we got a dealer here, not a dealer, a shop. Let's pull in and talk to him real quick and see if we can maybe work something out with him. Hang tight. Alrighty folks, well he went ahead and opened up a garage for us so we can go ahead and fix our equipment. He said he wouldn't charge us for the time if we actually put in the work ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to unhook everything and, you know, we'll have to pay for our parts and everything. If I could get that belt undone. There we go. 
So we'll have to pay for our parts and put the work into it ourselves, but he did say we could use his tools. So let's go ahead and I'll get that working on. Alrighty, folks. Well, we got her fixed up. Took us a few hours, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. Thought it was going to be pretty banged up after the tornado threw it. But we got her back up and running, and the mechanic was nice enough to give us a little bit of diesel. So, we now have this, so... Let me go ahead and, the mechanic said we could go ahead and keep our equipment here until we have our own land to store it. So let me go ahead and get that set up and get everything figured out and maybe we can get a contract and find some work. Alrighty folks, got everything set up. Now let's go ahead and we'll find a contract here and... Well, there's a couple of cultivating contracts here. Uh, field 5 is way too big for the cultivator we've got, but maybe field 8 would be okay. Yeah, we could probably work with field 8. So let's go ahead and we'll set that one up and go get that done. And also with the gameplay survival difficulty, we can't hire workers right now. So let's go ahead and we'll hook up to our cultivator and head over there. I didn't worry about fixing our cultivator or our fertilizer spreader sprayer yet. Well, sorry about that. But that was just because I didn't quite need to. Needed to try to save a little bit of money. This was the only equipment of ours that I could find after that tornado blew through. So, we'll head down here and we'll go ahead and we'll top up the fuel in our tractor there at a little place I heard about called Muddy Gap. Old guy lives there that owns the garage there we'll get that taken care of and see what we can do after we can receive some payment on that I guess this 42 gas station here is trying to put the smaller guy out of business so we'll go ahead and we'll just We'll just get our fuel and do business with that gentleman over there, Muddy Gap. And Mechanic also told us down there, okay, that every once in a while, the old man there at Muddy Gap will have some stuff out there for sale. Just stuff he's trying to get rid of. and So we'll keep an eye out there also. Alright, well... If you're in a hurry, that's why you don't live in farm country. Alrighty, folks. Well, here it looks like we're at Muddy Gap. Not hard to miss. It's the only thing out here. Besides another little farm that we'll go ahead and we'll work on. All right, well, go ahead and we'll get our fuel. We'll go ahead and head in and introduce ourselves to old man. All right, well, I guess he just goes by the name of old man and told him what was going on. He had heard about the tornado over in Western Wilds. Um, but he said he does have this camper for sale that he's willing to part with for a thousand bucks so 
Maybe we could actually just get that and get out of the tent, at least. But, first things first, we need to go over and cultivate this field. Alrighty, I already called ahead. Farmer knows we're coming. He told us to just go ahead and head on out. Just let him know when we're finished and he'll get us paid. Alright, so we're gonna we'll go ahead and lower that. Alrighty. And you folks have seen this one work, so I'll go ahead and bring you back in when we're done. Alrighty, folks. Well, just a little bit of an update here. With the survival, we cannot take out any more loan even after it's paid off. That might change after a while when we get enough of a reputation here. And also, we cannot lease equipment or anything yet the town doesn't know us well enough yet but you know maybe we can make a living here you know there's actually people we can work for and help out so maybe we can make a living here get enough money saved up and Maybe then we can head back to Western Wilds. I did check before I left that my grandparents' old land, the farm they once owned, it was left untouched. Some act of God or some higher power left it unfazed. So maybe after a while when they've rebuilt up the town a little bit. Maybe we can head back. <clears throat> Try to fulfill our legacy, because there we do have a reputation. The family name does anyway. So, we'll just see what we got going on. So, bring you back after a couple of hours once I'm done with this. Sit tight. Well, folks, as we've been at this for a while, you can tell we're still nowhere near done. But, um, old man from Muddy Gap came over and talked to us, told me to bring this cultivator over. Said he might have a deal for us, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and go ahead and go see what he's talking about. He said he might have something that we could use instead. So, let's go in and see what he says. Alright, well he told me to go check out in his junk pile here. And he's willing to buy that one from us for 200 bucks. And he said he's got something out here that might... Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah, that'll help us get some work done a lot quicker. A little banged up, but, yeah, you know, so is ours. Well, yeah, let's go see if we can make him a deal with this Case 45 here. Let's go in and really talk to him, try to work a deal. Alrighty, so he told us if we dropped our cultivator over there, He'd pay us two fifty for that, and we could buy that other one off of him for twenty five hundred. So, pretty much, we'd have to pay him twenty two fifty when all is said and done. But you know, we can afford that to be able to work a little bit faster and more efficiently. And we'll go ahead and we'll drop this one over here.
I guess he said every once in a while he'll buy old equipment from from the farmers out here also and work out deals with them on other equipment so yeah that'll work a lot better alright so he gave us 250 we have to pay him 2500 so 2250 minus alright Alrighty, yeah, now we can get some work done. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's going to work a lot better. Alrighty, folks, well, we'll get back to it and see you when we're done. Alrighty, folks, looks like we're about done with this field. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done stuff without a worker. But, you know, it is what it is. Can't hire anybody, so. And we'll go ahead and we'll finish this up. We'll get our payment. I know we're not going to make much of a profit after getting this new cultivator. Well, new to us, but after it's going to be profitable in the long run, getting us more work done quicker, so... Alrighty, finally got all of that done all right well, yeah yeah we're gonna need to make a reputation in this town pretty quick so that way we can hire some people to work for us so all right we're gonna go ahead and park this back up we're gonna come back and talk to old man here and muddy gap and pay him a thousand dollars for that camper maybe we can park it up there at okay for a little bit and see what we got going on so I'll bring you back when we're in the pickup and talk to old man Alrighty, folks. Well, I'm going to pull in here. Hopefully, old man was telling the truth when he's willing to part with that camper for a thousand bucks. He said he lives just in that trailer across the street from his shop, so we'll go in there and talk to him here. And as long as he is willing to let it go for a thousand, then we'll we'll go ahead and we'll have somewhere to live besides a tent alrighty well he is willing to part with it for a thousand dollars so we'll go ahead and we'll pay him the thousand dollars now and we'll go ahead and we'll park park it up over there at OK and go ahead and sleep and Maybe see where Elk Mountain can take us. So, until next time, folks, this is SMW Simulations. Make sure to harvest your crops and avoid them withering. And I'll catch you next time. So long.